Rated T for Teen. Sega. During later stages of the Iron Man game's development, comic book icon Stan Lee and the film's director John Favreau were privy to a behind-the-scenes preview. I like the different ways you have him when he's in the air. He doesn't just fly in one position. I know that's what I would enjoy the most, playing the game, just putting him in the air and letting him go crazy up there. And those old repulsor rays of his can get anything out of his way. The first thing I noticed was how true the, the actual character designs and movement and, and even controls were to what was in the movie. It's really true. I can't see, I really can't see a lot of difference. I would think gamers would just love this, man. Yeah, it's... it's you don't even have to play it. Just look at it. <laughs> Playing it is an extra bonus. Marvel, Sega, and Secret Level are confident that gamers will feel the same way. That shiny red and gold suit, you know, busting through the atmosphere and, and uh, you know, the, the visual effects that come with it is really exciting. I think is a big departure from a lot of comic book movie type games in the past. They tend to be a little cookie cutter, and I hope that we're bringing something new to the genre. With a movie game, it's really important to me, you know, working on that game, I want to make sure that everything you see in the movie, you can do in the game. I think that that's going to be something unique, and people will look at this as, hey, this is a pretty cool game beyond just a licensed game. It's only limited by the imagination and the, the skill of the people designing the games. I don't know if there's a game that looks better. Uh, you know, you, you take a look at that suit, you take a look at the environments. They were able to, you know, do these really vast environments with nice detail and lighting. It's a ton of work to make anything ever look cool. That's the trick. You get a million people working on something and it seems like it just happened on its own. It's just the oh wow moment where you're like, that's cool. I feel like Iron Man. That's the kind of stuff I want to do. Sometimes you have a really inspired story that's being told, and there's nothing more engaging than getting sucked into a video game. In our game, you actually have to make some choices, you know. Do you want to take a bigger risk and risk perhaps failure or death to try to be a more ideal hero? In this day and age, we need a superhero. I think you can go back and as far as you could go back in storytelling. I think mythology has always been a part of culture throughout the ages, and this is our spin on it. Take a couple hours and and imagine us in there and and imagine us maybe having that kind of power. The combined efforts of Sega, Secret Level, and Marvel has produced a truly unique superhero experience with a character that was custom made for video games. There's nothing like a great game coming out that draws you in. My son, Indio, sat down and he played it and like 10 seconds later, they go, what do you, what do you think? He goes, this is cool. 